Hello, this is your friendly, friendly nurse and health coach, and I'm coming today to you on what you can do about drinking your sodas, what kind of sodas and you can drink that you don't have to have those artificial flavors effect of it. And you can have more carbonated effects. One thing you can do for a more carbonated drink is flavored water. You can put lemons, you can put herbs, you can put fruit, you can put vegetables in your flavored water. You can also use sessa water, which will give you that little carbonated like uh, fizz in water and put well, any kind of fruit that you want to put in that carbonated um, water. Lemon, lime, a lot of people prefer. And you can make lemon, lime water out of the carbonated water. You can also use sparkling water. That'll give that look fizz like a soda do. And you can put those fruits in the sparkling water. Also, instead of the sodas, you can drink green tea. And we know green tea have a lot of antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, kill those uh, free radicals, those bad microorganisms in your body, uh, those uh, uncharged molecules, as we call it. They don't bring life to the cell. They bring some damage to the cells. So that green tea will help uh, that damage to the cells that, uh, that have been done and help prevent cancer. Green tea is awesome benefits. No calories in green tea at all. No sugar in green tea at all. Unless you choose to put sugar in green tea. And if you want to put some kind of sweetener, use one of those natural sweeteners that I spoke about. The stevia, the fruit, the dried fruit, uh, uh, monk fruit uh, in your um, herb in your green tea. When my, I drink green tea, I don't put nothing in my green tea. And I have, uh, and I use the organic, of course. You always use the organic, because you don't want the chemicals. Because the chemicals that will feed the cancer. Chemicals will go in your body and cause more damage in your digestive tract, in your, in your heart, in your, uh, your kidneys, your liver, of uh, all the dangerous chemicals that's in that's going around right now and going around in people foods and stuff so you got to watch that so green tea would be a good good thing to drink instead of sodas help the diabetes the liver the cancer the heart conditions uh, it's if you drink uh, one green tea a day, a cup of green tea a day will um, help your heart. Just like you say, one coffee a day will help your heart. And that's another thing you can drink is coffee. But don't overdo it. You got 100 milligrams of caffeine in one cup of coffee. So if you started piling up on the coffee, you, you, could, you shouldn't go over 400 milligrams of caffeine a day is recommended for adults and a hundred milligrams is rec recommended for 12 years old to 18 years old caffeine a day so that's like one coffee one cup of coffee a day for the children and and over 12 years old but under 12 years old should not drink coffee i got to keep stressing that because the caffeine effect of it have them nurse chicory heart rate up blood pressure up you wonder what's going on with my child restless can't sleep so gotta be careful about that 
And uh, one thing you can do for this soda is accessible water, as I said. And accessible water, you can put grape juice in it, which grape juice is good for the heart. Uh, uh, it protects your heart. Uh, that's 100% grape juice now. You got to watch it. No, no artificial sweetness. 100% grape wetches. I love, I love wetches grape juice. I use it very often, and I use it for my for, for daily things, daily things. So uh, it helps fight diseases in your body. It's got flavonoids in grape juice. Flavonoids help fight the disease in your body. Flavonoids are those that's antimicrobic, anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, antibacterial. So, um, grape juice is excellent for the body. And you put some in some self water. Uh, lemon lime soda, as I said before. Um, substance water with lemons in it. It's lemon lime soda. So you got that that soda fizz there. You just got to have that soda fizz to you. Some people just got to have that fizz. They want the fizz. And sometimes I would try it. I love it, the fizz at times. So I may get a lemon lime, uh, uh, sessel water, uh, uh, drinking sometime. And you got coconut water. And coconut water is excellent to drink. Coconut is an anti inflammatory, antioxidant. I use coconut in a lot of my. Um, stuff at times, my oatmeal, I might put a little coconut in there. Uh, coconut is excellent for your body, your heart, and and uh, it's, it, it don't have that artificial sugar. It's got that natural. So it's not going to run your blood sugar up as much. You don't put a low lot of uh, coconut in it. Organic, of course, I use organic coconut, organic uh, water. So you got fresh vegetables you can put into water. People put that in water. It's low in sugar, high in, high in sodium. So you have to watch the vegetables and the vegetables juices, the V8 juices. Try to get the low sodium V8 juice. It's, it's, it's good in all, uh, uh, vegetables, which is good for your body. But you got to watch the sodium. It's not as much sugar either, but the sodium content will run your blood pressure up. Uh, build fluid up in your body. You don't want too much sodium in your body. And then and you don't use dairy pro products. You can use soy milk. Um, soy milk is a good thing to drink and to drink if you don't want um, no dairy products. But you got to watch the soy. You only drink by the cup of that a day because soy would also constipate you. And a lot of people got constipation problems already. So your best choice would be fruits. Because fruit will keep you more regulated with your bowel. Because it's got the fiber in it. So your bowel can move um, like it's supposed to every day. Some people don't have bowel meant to over a week. All those toxins from them food is in your body, and it's going somewhere in your body after that living are broken down, and 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 it don't have anywhere else to go. It's going to cause a, a whatever weak in your body, that toxin, that poison out of the, the from that stew is going to go in there and cause some damage. That's why you that bowel movement. You should have at least have a bowel movement. No more than three days without a bowel movement. That's how we do in the hospitals and the nursing homes. If they don't have a bowel movement over three days, at least we 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 going to get them a, a stool softener, a light step, or something. You need to have bowel movement at least every day. Keep that water going and lubricate your body. Water over everything to drink. Water, water, water. I can't express it enough. Three, four for your body is water. Three, four for your brain is water. You might say, well, I've been overdoing it. And, and are you releasing the water? you got to make sure that water is being released. 
you put a little apple cider vinegar in your water, that help diurese your kidneys. And I guarantee you, you'll start to release that fluid out of you and your blood pressure will go down So It is said that you at least should have two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar a day. So if you can put some little apple cider vinegar in the morning in your water. And I, I mix the apple cider vinegar and lemon juice together and put it in my water. Because lemon juice, a lemon they say it can save your life because it works and cleans the, the liver. The liver is a factory to your body, remember? It, 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 it's, 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 it's got a lot of stuff it's storing in that, liter, that liver. And the liver is breaking down your food. For you and your medications so it's the factory of the body so we got to protect the liver it's the largest solid organ in your body is your liver because it's doing so much as I, as I said a factory to so much stuff that goes in our body so um, fruit is very important for the body a lot of people on fruit diets now, fruit um, detoxes. I talked to a girl the other day at the gym, and she's, she's on a fruit um, fast this week. I said, good, but make sure you got that water in there, too. There's some water in fruit, but you got to have that extra water. And I told her it won't hurt if you put a little vegetables in the, in the um, water also. So very, very detrimental. Uh, to have something to drink uh, other than a soda because a soda got a lot of artificial stuff in it and uh, like sugar and water that's what that's what soda consists of and that's going to cause some damage to your body so we just want to come to you this week to let you know what you can use instead of all the artificial uh, flavoring and artificial sweeteners and sodas so you can live a long and healthy, healthy life.